Hello, Cozy Gamers. Look what we're checking out today. If you're like me and you love farming sims, then you will have heard about One Lonely Outpost, a farming sim set on an alien planet where you're a colonist and you have to grow food for your colony. This game looks so good and we're so lucky to be checking out the demo early thanks to Freedom Games, who are both the devs and the publisher of One Lonely Outpost. Let's give it a go. I am so excited to try this game out and see what it has to offer. Okay, so this must be us flying to the alien planet to build our colony. I wonder why we left Earth. I wonder if we're gonna get in like a story behind it that'll tell us why we're why we left. Oh, is this our planet? Planet Calypso. System NGC 6503. Communications poor. Atmosphere toxic. Trophosphere stagnant. Echosphere analyzing. No life forms detected. Oh. Oh, we're landing. I was wondering what that was. Are there actually going to be no life forms or are we going to find life forms and our scanner's going to be wrong? Huh, that doesn't seem right, does it? Toxic air, no life. We followed the coordinates precisely. Been on autopilot most of the time. Why would they? <gasps> oh my god, is that a cat? What? Wait. What's going on? <gasps> oh, Quirty is so cute. I love Quirty. I hope they do Quirty plushies because I would buy a Quirty. That Quirty looks adorable. Steadfast beep. Sorry about that, buddy. Not sure what just happened. A ship malfunction, radiation, or electromagnetic waves frying the receiver. Weird, but too little too late. Look outside. We're here. Oh, wow. I like all the crystals. That's cool. This does look a lot like Mars. Like what we'd expect Mars to look like. It does give me real The Martian vibes, actually, this game. Like, stuck on another planet. Have to grow food to survive. Yeah, definitely stuck on another planet, the way that ship just crashed. <laughs> it was a bit of a rough landing, but at least we're both still intact. Am I the only person? Oh crap, the terminal's broken. We can't buy supplies until we get it fixed. We'll just have to figure it out later. Anyway, we made it quirky on new home. Well, we're here for better or for worse. The PGP better pay for any dash damage that Astrobargo has incurred. Interesting words. Let's go with this one. Oh, quirky. We've come a long way, but hopefully it'll have been worth it. The PGP wouldn't send us all the way out here if it were a complete waste of time, right? Don't answer that. I'm trying to stay hopeful. Well, whatever happens, at least your tracks will be right next to my footprints. So let's go and see just what the PGP sent us here to do. I wonder if there'll be character creation at a later date, because I noticed we didn't get to create our character. <gasps> oh, Let's talk to Quirty. Oh, what am I doing? <gasps> Matter manipulator, mining laser, spray gust, omni tool. Okay. Um. Okay. <laughs> what does that do? So this one. Ooh. Can I cut the rock? I can. <gasps> Your omni mac. 
Omninac collect, collects knowledge of new worlds. It fills in as you discover new items, and it contains a lot of useful information for surviving on a new planet. Each discovery yields Omni stars that will earn you respect from your peers. Press O to open the Omnimac. Ooh. Stone. Okay. A, a plant? That looks more like a fish. Oh, it is a fish. <gasps> oh, the cow is so cute. Okay. How do I open my log? Oh, here. Dear ship steward, your ship reports a safe landing. I wouldn't call it safe. On Calypso. As a star steward, you are tasked with establishing a colony on this new world. Congratulations on your first expedition. Calypso falls under the jurisdiction of the Pan-Galactic Parliament. The PGP is entitled to a share of profits resulting from all human ventures on the planet. Failure to comply will result in a revocation of your title of star steward as outlined in section 43.4890.55c of your contract under the heading Punitive Measures Continued. We will provide resources to ensure that the colony on Calypso flourishes. For instance, we are giving you an Omnimac, which gathers information about flora and fauna you may encounter on the planet. It updates automatically as you interact with the environment. Your first task as Star Steward is to cultivate the land. All colonies need a reliable source of food. Research your surroundings and clear the area of debris in order to begin farming. Okay. The mining tool mines resources from rocks and the gust tool clears mounds of dust and sand. Okay. New task. Earn archaeology omni stars and earn geology omni stars. Okay. Let's is that lasering it? Oh, we didn't get anything. Okay. That's fine. Oh my gosh, we're not getting anything at all. Oh, look at Quirty following me around. I wonder if we're- oh is that- what's the countdown at the top for? Is that how much energy our tool has left maybe? What's that? Can I laser it? Oh! Right click to pick it up, okay. Oh, heat ice crystals to refill your spray tool. Okay. Okay. Um. We need one more archaeology. Survey Farmstead Region. Dear Star Steward, little is known about Calypso. We have uploaded coordinates to your Omni Tool where survey data is needed. Your Omni Tool converts these coordinate points into AR beacons when you are nearby. Go to each coordinate and your Omni Tool will collect data about Calypso. Complete survey tasks to expand your Omni Tool world map. All right, so we have to go to locations on the Omni Tool. But let's try and finish this off first because we're very close to being done. And yeah, I don't just like starting a new task when I haven't finished one. Can I squeeze through that? No. Oh, come on. Let me through. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Oh, well. 
One more, come on. They're running down here. Yep, there we go. Ah, done. Smart locker blueprint. Detailing how to fabricate a metal smart locker for storing items. Supplies. Omnipot blueprint. How do I open map? There's no points on my map though. So how do I find the coordinates? I suppose you just gotta walk around until we find it. Is that water? It look oh, here's one. Okay. We did one coordinate. At least it's easy to see when you get to them, even if we don't know where they are. Back to the base. Well, let's try this way. Doesn't look like it's that way, unless it's behind this boulder and I just can't see. No, I can't get through. Has it come up on a map yet? No. I'm so tired. It's half three. Okay, performing activities drain stamina, some more than others. The later it gets at night, the more exhausted you will become. Sleep in your bed to refill your stamina and begin the next day. We still have enough stamina to try and find these points. And there's another one. Oh, that was number three. So let's find number two. going to be through here. Um, huh. Where is it? Let's try down here. This looks like a path. Oh, there it is. We found it. Nothing to worry about. Okay. Oh, so that reveals where we are on the map now. So we're there. Nice. Well, that's all our tasks for today done. I wonder if we should just expend all our energy and then we can head to bed. Then we're not wasting it. Okay, it's the next day and let's see what we're doing. So there's a delivery to pick up. How are they getting deliveries out here? Dear Star Steward, in order to expand the farm and grow more produce, you'll need to purchase farming supplies. These can be bought from your lander terminal. To help get you started, we have generously provided you with a delivery pad and some basic supplies. You can find these basic supplies on said pad outside of your RV. Remember that you must continue to expand the farm in order to stay on top of the demand of food in our growing colony. Should you fail to grow enough food, the colony will shrivel and you will be fired, starved to death, or both, depending on the circumstance. You will be unable to buy supplies if your lander terminal is broken, but we are confident you have treated our property with care. Um, about that. What? So this is like a crafting table. And this is the only thing we can build so far, but there's lots of other things that we can build. So let's just craft this for now. I don't know what it does, but it's the only thing we can build, so. Delivery pad. All right. Oh, look at all this. We have so many seeds. Okay. Right, how do we plant them? Till the soil using matter manipulator. Is that this one? Is 
that doing it? I don't think so. Um, there's, a, there's always X's. I don't know if that means I can't do it. Or... Is there specific soil we have to till? I would quite like to just do it right outside my house. So let's just hold it and maybe it'll work. Quay, please don't walk under my mat array. Okay, it just seems to be burning my energy and not tilling the soil. So let's see if there's anywhere that isn't a red cross. Here we go. Okay. There we go. Easy peasy. Okay, then plant seeds. Great, okay, move out the way. Oh, am I out? Why would it keep the pack if I'm out of seeds? Balanced meal. I bought some nutrient place with me. It's in QWERTY's storage unit. To access it, I need to talk to QWERTY, then open a storage unit. To get some energy back, I should go get some of the paste to eat. Talk. Beep boop. All right. Let's put that in there. Let's put all of these in here, actually. I don't think we need them in our toolbar. And let's get the food out. Then we can plant our seeds. I don't know what this is. We'll keep that for now. If you do not eat, you start the day next day tired. Eating food restores stamina and can be used to provide bonus effects. Until you can harvest crops, you're stuck eating nutrient paste. Ooh, okay. Right, let's plant some more stuff. Wait, please be careful. Okay, it's a little higgledy-piggledy, but I have planted and watered all of my crops. I was a bit sad you can't get rid of the crystals. I would have liked to be able to move that so I could do a plot of eight like I did with my other crops. But it doesn't like look like you can actually get rid of them, which is sad. But we have planted our potatoes, our carrots, and I don't remember what the last thing was, but that's also planted. And we don't really have another task now, so I'm just going to destroy some of these stones again, and then we'll head home for the day and go back to sleep. Let's see if we can destroy this giant one. Nice. Alright, let's head back for the night. Planting the seeds was actually really easy, and I like how with a spray tool, you already have a larger area that you can water, rather than having to upgrade your tool or other things like that, like you do in other games. I like that you already have a stronger tool. Kind of links with the understanding that we're a technologically advanced race, which is nice. We're seeing it in more than just the spaceship, I mean. All right, another end of day. Biology three stars, colony still one. I wonder if we'll get to get another person in our colony before the end of this playthrough. <gasps> oh, what are we doing today? That sounds like an earthquake. Uh oh, it's an earthquake. Do you feel the ground shaking or is that just me? Great, we're near a fault line. Of course we are. Shaky beep. <laughs> oh, the little excavation mark. Did you see it? Ooh, new path unlocked. 
Where did all this gear come from? I swear that wasn't there the day before. Looks like we can cross over now. I wonder where it leads. All right, let's go. Okay, relaxation area. Qwerty bot Q5 G7 MQ Y4 BK Q R5 CK has set up a relaxation area outside. Enjoy. As if I didn't mess up on the Q5 whatever, but I messed up the word relaxation. <laughs> this is an automated email. Please do not reply or send messages to this address. Okay. And survey the canyon. Let's go. Oh, all of the stone has moved back into my toolbar. Right, what are we gonna find over here? Oh, another another farming area. So we can plant some crops over here. Wow, this one's big. This is a lot bigger than the other one. I should have planted all my plants here, rather than planting them over there. We're not going to find anything. Oh, we got some seeds. Okay, I was wrong. We're going to find one thing. <laughs> oh, we got like a fossilized shell. Milk root. So I wonder how new people come and live with us. Because surely our colony's got to grow. There's an option for like the amount of people. Ooh, where are we? Did we just enter a cave? Ooh. Can we go in the water? No. What's this? <gasps> can I laser it? I can! <gasps> you see that? That looks so pretty. Ooh, like rainbow ore. Oh gosh, which way are we going? We're gonna go this way first. I can hear a noise. I love how Quirty just follows me everywhere. <gasps> oh, what's this? Is this gold? Survey Inanna Falls. Okay, what's this task? Reach coordinate one. Reach coordinate one, two, three. Oh, there's one of them. Oh, so we're doing the Inanna Falls ones. Ooh, new seeds. And this is a new dig spot. A new farming spot, I think. Whoa. What's... Is there like a hole to nowhere? Can I fall down? No. Maybe we can climb down at a later date, though. More seeds. I'm just collecting everything and I'm really sorry. I just have to. <laughs> oh, we're running low on energy though. So maybe I should stop. Oh wait, we have our uh, food to eat, don't we? So it's okay. Lots more farming spots up here. Oh, there's another checkpoint. Coordinate two. So where's coordinate three gonna be? And where's a waterfall? Seaside nexus. Oh, we're in another new area. I feel like I need to go back and finish the last areas. Oh, a new seed, jewel fruit. And what's this? Ooh. 
I hope I can remember where I found all these resources if I need them later. I wonder if the map records that for you. The, uh, oh, there's one. If the Omni tool, is that what it was called? Records that information for you. This place is massive. Checkpoint, that's number three. Oh, oh, that's water, isn't it? We're finding so many like gadgets and gizmos. I wonder what we'll use all of these for. Because surely there's a use for them. Or is it just to collect points? I hope not. That would be sad. What do our stars even... Do we have to get to a certain star level in order to invite new colonists? Maybe. Okay. Where is this last checkpoint? Um... There it is. At least we found all the checkpoints in this area. Oh, we're so far away. Do we have to uncover this entire map? By finding all the checkpoints. Is that our goal for today? We should probably head back though. Maybe try and get the checkpoints for the other areas where we've already been. And then at least we're not starting a new quest every single time. Let's head back. We can plant our fruit. Our new fruit. And try not to be out when we have no energy left. It's already getting quite late. It's almost 6pm. So we should probably be heading back. Alright, it's day four. And this is going to be the last day that we do Omni Forge. The Pan-Galactic Parliament has no taken note of your efforts to expand the outpost on Calypso, attached a Fabricator Blueprint and an ISRU Omniforge Blueprint to further assist you. Use the Fabricator on board your ship to construct items for blueprints and materials. We look forward to continuing to work with you and to see the colony flourish and prosper. And Omniforge. No, don't leave the house. Okay, it's a little annoying that it leaves the house whenever you want wander a little close to the door. Okay, we don't have any of those, but we could do this. Iron ore and eldritchite ore. That was like the glowy one. Okay, let's try and build this then. That's our goal for today. Fabricating a forge. Create an omni forge. Okay, so iron ore is this. I believe. Yes. Okay. So we need four of these. And then the rainbow wall. And we also need to check on our plants because we did some late night gardening at midnight last night. And they probably need a little care. <laughs> so let's head to our farm first. Oh, look at them all growing. Do we need to water them? Yes. Oh, we're out of water again. Let's refill. I really like the, uh, the idea that the crystals give us water. That's really cool. But I suppose how else would we get water on this planet? Uh, 
And if we open our inventory, we can plant the other seeds that we got. I don't like that it doesn't auto stack. Is this not our inventory? I'm not sure. Um, let's leave the iron down here so we can see it actually. Question mark all of these. And let's just build... Oh, it's not that one, it's this one, is it? Three. Four. And... One. Three. Lovely, and then water them. Okay, all our plants are watered, and now we have to go and find the erudite. I think it was called erudite. And maybe some of the other checkpoints that we couldn't find yesterday. Because that place was massive. I wonder if our map will become more informative over time because at the moment it doesn't really tell us much. It tells us where the locations are but we don't know where anything is in those locations. So it would be nice if it could give us more information at a later date. Is this the erudite stuff? Yes. All right, and let's grab some iron ore, ore for good measure. Oh, there's loads of erudite. I was worried that it might be difficult, but no. <laughs> Other than not being able to reach it. The laser is sometimes a little wonky. Did we just destroy two things at once? <gasps> Oh, that's nice. Did you see that? So we destroyed the two erudite and the large rock all with the same laser. That's very nice. You can stack things, kind of. So let's try it again from this direction, like this. Yeah. Okay. So I suppose it just depends on where you position yourself. Maybe this isn't an intended feature, but we managed to do it, so we'll be happy. That should be everything we need to build our Omni Forge. Let's grab a few more pieces just in case. And then we can head back home and craft it and see what it lets us do. another new seed we'll plant that as well i'm sad that we haven't been able to grow any seeds on this playthrough i would have liked to be able to see what our little seeds grew into see if we can do some cooking i would love if there was a cooking mini game or something like that in this like what would cooking on mars be like i know it's not mars it's calypso but how would it work what sort of like, look at our little shack. There is no room for cooking in here. All right, let's build it. Okay. Machines must be placed within the range of power source to function. Each power source can only supply a few machines. So that's what this little icon is at the top. It's gone now. There we go. All right, let's place it on this side. I wonder how you get that... How do you get it to stay up? Okay, it can just go here. Use Omni Smelters to refine ore. So you can place these in. Scrap metal. Data log. Okay. 
Can we get all the parts? Part two and nine. Part six. Part seven. Part eight. Part five. Are we just missing part nine? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're missing two parts. It says it's readable. Can we read it instead of scrapping it? Let's put this red ore in. Scarlet sodium. Oh, it doesn't let us. Try this. Oh. There's another one. There's number four and nine. Oh, we can put that in. Okay. How do we make it work? <laughs> Maybe we'll read the instructions. Is there instructions? No. Okay. In, out. Shake it all about. <laughs> Did that arrow just fill up? Is it working slowly? Yes, it is working slowly. Let's go plant the seed and then we'll come back and see what's happened. We'll just place it here on its lonesome. Water it. Right. And let's go see if that thing's worked. <gasps> Ooh. Is it done? Whoa. What's this then? Like a refined ore? An Eldrakai ingot, shaped into an ingot in preparation for further refining. Okay, so we've done a lot. We've set up a farm, we've started exploring the area, we've set up a forge, and we've started crafting ingots. Which is why I think this is a great place to stop. I am liking this, but I do wish we'd been able to get a bit further and see our colony grow. But I'm also not sure if that's something we can do in the demo, and we seem a bit of a ways off that anyway. But I really love this interesting twist on the farming sim genre, and I am really intrigued by setting up a space colony. I also love how our tools are already upgraded, but there are some things that I'm not a fan of, like the checkpoints and the map. This was One Lonely Outpost, and the demo will be available during Steam Next Fest if you want to try it out yourself. Thank you so much to Stride PR for providing us with a key to try this out early, and thank you so much to you for watching this video. Make sure to like and subscribe to keep up with all the cozy gaming news. Bye!